Oh my god. I gotta watch the ground. I gotta watch the ground. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. Tracy, tell us what happened with you and uh, Bootsy Collins. Uh, uh, we were in the off-leash park just behind my house, and uh, he started shaking like he was cold. It was a little bit weird, but I thought I'd bring him in and uh, left him in the crate for about an hour and came back, and he was covered in barf. And uh, he wouldn't come out of the crate, and he has a really glassy-eyed look on his face, and he just wouldn't come out. So I called the vet, and they said uh, it was probably likely that he had eaten something. And actually, I brought a sample of the barf with me to the emergency vet and said, here you can smell it, but I think it's weed. And lo and behold, it was actually weed. Um, he had ingested something, uh, I guess somebody left, you know, a roach or whatever they call that, leftover part. And uh, yeah, they had to, they they were going to keep him overnight or give him extra fluids, that kind of thing. And uh, I decided to do an all-night vigil and just watch him the entire night and make sure that he didn't um, aspirate on his own vomit because it's not the weed that will actually kill them. It's um, not being attentive enough um, to be able to remember to get up to not, you know, ingest their own barf. So. It was, uh, it was really terrifying. But yeah, sometimes I'll just do like a walk around the park to see like if there's anything, but you can't really see anything. That's the problem, especially when the, uh, when the water melts down everything, you, you can't see if something's smooshed into, like he's eating ice cubes right now. Who the heck knows what's in that, right? You don't know what's in that. Are you going to be more careful now when you're outside with them? I don't know how much more careful I can be. I feel like all I do is look at the road all the time. <laughs> That's all I do. I don't look up at my neighbors. I don't say hello to people. All I'm worried about is like, what's on the ground? What's on the ground? Really good early warning sign that when this happens, you know kids are going to be on the ground, you know, uh, touching things, putting things in their mouth. So yeah, I would say that we absolutely need to think about this as a community issue, not just a dog park issue. Um, it is going to affect kids too. This off-leash area is next to a playground as well, right? So children are in the area as well, aren't they? Yeah, children are right next door to the off-leash park. Also, people walk through the playground area with their dogs on leash. So people use both sides of the on-leash and the off-leash area for just sitting there having their lunch or hanging out after work and imbibing however they need to. So um, yeah, I think it's about being super careful um, about how you dispose of anything. Garbage is garbage. Just dispose of it responsibly.